guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm just going through the laundry room update that we've done um so first things first we're getting started by taking everything out and everything off the floors uh at this point we had removed most of the peel and stick tiles and we just had a few left underneath there all right so all I am doing for this is I'm just using some rags that we had and the goof off and I'm just going around and applying it onto the floor. Um, I'm being fairly generous with it because there is a lot of glue residue on this floor. Uh, some spots are worse than others. Anywhere where the tile was walked on a lot is very sticky. Okay, so after I finished removing all of the residue, I cleaned it up really good, washed the floor a couple times, vacuumed it a couple times, made sure it was very clean. I'm starting now with a Bullseye 321 primer and just going over the entire floor using a brush and a roller. So this is the part I was most looking forward to. I decided to do a stencil on the majority of the middle part of this room. Um, we were going to lay tile, we were going to do peel and stick again, we went all kinds of different options, but this seemed like the most affordable and just the easiest and honestly it was pretty fun um, way to go with this project. So the stencil is from Cutting Edge Stencils. I actually borrowed it from my sister. She had painted and stenciled a couple floors already and I think it worked really well. So the tips for this is that you want to start in the middle of the room, you don't want to start at the edge, and then you work off of corners that have dried as you go. You also don't want to load your roller with too much paint or you will get bleed lines underneath. So as you can see, I've got just a paper towel and I'm just kind of brushing off the excess paint that uh, the roller has before I go over the stencil. And you just wanna press firmly and yeah, just try it out. It was really fun. It was kind of relaxing. As you can see, I just have a glass of wine and I'm pretty sure it's about midnight at this point. Alright, so now that we've finished up with the floors, I'm moving on to the walls. So this wall behind the washer and dryer um, was never actually properly finished when uh, they put up the drywall and whatnot. So it had some raw drywall, it had some really dark paint. So the first thing I'm doing is going over everything with a bullseye 3 c one primer just to kind of let that even out and set uh, because I know that the rest of the walls are only going to take one coat. So I did the primer, I let it dry, and now I'm starting starting on the actual color of the wall. I'm using the same color we've used for our entire house now. Uh, it's Glacier White by Benjamin Moore and I get all of my paint color matched at Deluxe. One of the other things to note is that I did seal the floor after I did the stencil. Um, I sealed it with two coats of basically like a garage floor uh, clear coat. Uh, it's holding up really well, um, but it doesn't seem like it's available at, I got it at Canadian Tire originally and I can't seem to find it. So unfortunately I can't really show you that or link that for you, but I know lots of people will use like a polyacrylic or something like that to seal the floor. Um, you just want to make sure that it is sealed really well when you're finished just so that it wears good and holds up. Okay, so one last addition that I added into our laundry room is these dry racks. I got them on Amazon, so they just click up and then they hold in place just like that. And then you can actually set like how tall you want them. And then once you get to the last click, it just like releases and goes back down. Um, we had like a big 
standing one that stood on the floor and it took up this entire space. So we gained so much room right here, which is just fantastic. I love it so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and of course i will see you next thursday for a new video so stay tuned